please like, share and subscribe the channel. In this session, we are going to discuss about the composite transformation or you can say the two-dimensional composite transformation. What is composite transformation? Actually, this is the sequence of the operation when we are applying the multiple operation on the same object uh, at the same time. Then we are using the composite operation and the matrix which is formed with the help of the composite transformation is called as concatenated matrix or composition of the matrices. The next thing is that for the composite operation or when you are applying the composite transformation, we need to have the homogeneous coordinate. We can apply the directly to the uh, Cartesian coordinate value for the composite operation. We need the homogeneous coordinate values for the composite operation. Uh, this is about the any sequence of the operation or transformation operation. It is called as composite transformation and the matrix is called as concatenation or composition of the matrix. How we can form the concatenated or composite matrix? We can form this matrix with the help of the product of the individual operation. Product of the individual transformation operation. Uh, it is called as com concatenated or composite of, composite of the matrix. The first operation in this session we are going to discuss about the translation operation. Suppose that for the single object we are having the uh, translation of the object two times. That is first time the translation factor is given as Tx1 and Ty1 and the second time after translating this object we need the again to translate the object again with the translating factor Tx2 and Ty2. So in this case uh, we can write the matrix operation P dash equal to T Tx2 comma Ty1 that is the matrix for the uh, second translation and the mat into matrix for the first translation and into the matrix for the original coordinate values because this is uh, your matrix ma multiplication operation so uh, they are associative so in this case uh, how we can represent this operation in the matrix format the composite matrix we can write for the translation t equal to this is the first for factor for that that is tx1 and this is for the tx2 and we will get the operation that is 1 0 tx1 plus tx2 0 1 ty1 plus ty2 0 0 1 so this is the composite matrix for the translation operation when we are having more than one translation factor for the single object at the same time so we can say that uh, for the composite operation for the translation uh, is additive in nature that is two successive trans translation transformation is additive in nature that is tx2 ty2 uh, the second uh, factor for the translation and this is the first factor for the translation if you will multiply these two matrices you will get the answer for the tx1 plus tx2 ty1 plus ty2 so they are additive in nature so if you are having more than two or more than three operations as uh, uh, that is simultaneously you are having the translation operation so what you need to do you need to do uh, this thing that is tx1 plus tx2 plus tx3 plus tx4 in this way you can uh, perform the operation uh, if you want to represent the um, composite operation for the rotation transformation that is for the two successive rotation there are more than two successive rotation in this case we can represent the matrix uh, multiplication or matrix operation or matrix uh, composite matrix operation in this way r theta 2 into r theta 1 into p that is first we need to calculate the value for this one that is the in the normal procedure we need to calculate with this pixel value first theta 1 the uh, generated intermediate coordinate value will be again multiplied with the uh, theta 2 value that or the theta 2 rotation transformation but because matrix operation they are following the associative law so you can write in this way that is r theta 2 into r theta 1 into p and we can prove that or we can verify that if we are going to multiply these two matrix that is r theta 2 and r theta 1 that is the second transformation rotation transformation with the first rotation transformation you will get the matrix in this way that is r theta 1 plus theta 2 so you can say that two successive operation for the rotation is also additive in nature suppose that we are having the two successive rotation at the same time uh, so in this case what we need to do we have to add, simply add the uh, angle uh, or rotation value that is 30 plus 40 so it will generate the 70 degree so composite matrix is saying that we need to calculate the uh, this operation only for the uh, rotation for 70 degree 
with the help of the uh, previous coordinate or the old pixel value and we can generate the new pixel value without any intermediate calculation of the coordinate values that is this value that is p into r theta 1 first it will generate one coordinate value and next it will generate second coordinate or final coordinate value with this one but in this way what we need to do then simply theta 1 plus theta 2 we need to use and we need to calculate the new pixel values for the scaling transformation if you are applying the composite transformation for the scaling operation so uh, this scaling operation is actually multiplicative in nature uh, we can uh, see this operation suppose that we are having the first scaling matrix sx1 0 0 0 sy1 0 0 0 1 so this is the first homogeneous coordinate uh, for the sx1 and sy1 that is for the scaling factor for the first time for the second time suppose that this is the scaling factor for the second time sx2 0 0 0 sy2 0 0 0 1 if you will multiply these two matrix, you will get the composite matrix for the scaling matrix Sx1 into Sx2, 0, 0, 0, Sy1 into Sy2, 0, 0, 0, 1. So, uh, in the composite operation for the scaling transformation, that is we are having the composite operation for the scaling transformation that is we are having the two scaling factor for the same object so in this case this is multiplicative in nature this is not additive in nature this is multiplicative in nature this is multiplicative in nature that is sx1 into sx2 so the final matrix for the composite operation so the final composite matrix for the scaling transformation this is the first scaling factor or second scaling factor and this is the first scaling factor when we are going to multiply these two we will get the scaling or composite uh, scaling factor for this matrix in this way so if you are having the two successive uh, scaling operation or you can say that the composite uh, transformation so in this case the value will be uh, the matrix multiplication of the two uh, different of transformation operation will be this one that is this is multiplicative in nature for scaling two successive matrix they will be multiplicative in nature